YouTube, it's PB. So the number one question I get asked in the comments is can I do a tour of my van? So as I've got myself a new van and before I change all the kit over, I thought I'd oblige you with a tour of the van. I drive a Vauxhall Vivaro Sportive. I've got a Rhino roof cradle on the top, a couple of pipe tubes and the ladders and everything else is on the inside. So let's have a good look around. Okay, so we'll start at the back. Um, I'll just go through with you what I've got. So the, probably the most interesting thing is up here we've got an inverter. Now on a Vivaro you've got a cigarette lighter point in here so I'm just running it off that. So while I'm driving it's charging my Makita batteries which I just screwed that onto the side and then my rechargeable lead lens a torch and battery packs and then I've also got a pen torch there that charges which I can just stick in my pocket tech in the job. Big wipes cage with power spray and the big wipes and then in the corner just um, saws, spirit levels and my foam gun and what I've done there is that's the um, spigot end off a soil pipe just for a bit of vertical storage um, same on the other side I've got a spigot end pipe there which my Makita Hoover just drops into so this, this unit here, this ply rack is made by a company called MK Ply Lining you can find them on eBay basically what you do is search for your van in my case short wheelbase for Varro and they do a custom made one to suit you and then you can choose the dividers here how many you've got how how big they are the spacing stuff like that and custom make it so you can see here what I've got um, sections here and then on the other side I've left that one open for bigger kit um, and then on the other side here a smaller one with smaller sections so I bought that one and the main one and then in the middle here let's move my drink I made this platform to join the two together which is basically a workbench now for me and then it's got space underneath for different bits so we'll start with the um, at the back, let's move the radio. So you can see under here, I've got my Fat Max storage boxes, 15mm, 22mm fittings, screws, and pipe clips. You can see on this one, I've cut out, and that's because this is a sportive model. So I've got the bulkhead has got a hatch in it, which means I can get three meter lengths of pipe all the way through the inside of the van. So I cut that out just in case I need to get anything inside the van. I can see here this section here is really important. So this did come right down but I've cut a section out so I can get lumps of pipe through into the van. Long stuff like my stop tap key, 27 inch immersion, just off, off cuts of pipe, plastic that won't go in my pipe tubes on the top of the van. Because you know what happens when you put a short bit of pipe in the pipe tube you just lose it. Right, just move the kit bags off here. Okay, so this platform here, I did this on my last van, my Berlingo, and it's really useful. One, you've got two levels now, so you've got stuff under here and I can work on top of it. And then also, I've bolted down a metal tool chest which I keep cordless kit in, um, stuff that's valuable and then I lock that up. So we'll look at the main shelf, so you've got these sections in here, I've got my Makita coffee maker in there, some tea bags, mashing gear, back hole hole saw kit, some tapes, just odds and sods, um, things I use a lot go in there and then on the top sections, I bought these tubs which are screwed down. So I've got shower spares, toilet spares, silicon, boiler spares, and on the top shelf, stuff, boiler flu, um, flu cages, flu terminal, gaskets, um, chemical cleaners, inhibitors, power flushing chemicals, and then on the end, um, foot pump hair dryer extension lead obviously you can put whatever you want in there but that's how I'm I'm using it 
um, and then on the other side these uh, mini fest toolboxes so I keep there's one under there called stuff boiler boiler bits stuff for taps 10 mil 8 mil and gas fittings and then TRVs lock shields and just rad accessories like tail extensions bits like that um, then I've got some Danfoss TRVs just basically components going here programmers room stats um, these are cool these are from when I buy DeWalt drill bits so I'll save the tub and then use them just to keep bits in so that's half inch washers um, you'll probably recognize this one if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram this is my screw tub so any screws I get off old boilers are just keeping those so they fit nicely in there uh, smoke alarm seal alarms some wear bits o-rings tap seat a kit goes in there and then these bottom three I've got random 15 22 and 28 mil fittings because the main um, fittings I use are in these Stanley Fat Max storage boxes underneath on the end there you can see I've made this bit myself these extra bits just to keep um, bottles of spray in okay now we'll have a look in the main side loader so up here I've got um, drain rods random bits of hose pipe, my two hoses, hop up there, a um, couple of heaters, electrical stuff, cable, um, tubs, sponges, bottles, gloves, cleaning stuff goes in there and then I've got some fittings boxes there for speed fit stuff, um, push fit and solvent weld, um, another little tub in there just keep some blue roll in there and some bits. So my main steps, brush, and I've got this Festool unit, I use this all the time, I love it. So in the bottom that's just a, a plain sustainer, um, so I've got in there my double Makita battery charger and all my cables and bits. Then I've got this power hub, so waterproof, IP rated, four sockets on the front, and if we lift it and open and look inside, 10 meter extension cord, and then there's a socket on the inside as well so you can charge things that you don't want to leave outside maybe your mobile phone ipad stuff like that um, and then in the top i've got this workbench sustainer and then in there i keep drill bits um screwdriver bits anything to do with my cordless power tools bit wise goes in the top of there so I take that into the job, it's like a little mobile work unit, um, really good then. Wet vac to get me out of the shit, um, buckets and towels, and then I've got um, this DeWalt tough tub here. This is my um, brickwork gear, so I've got trowels, brush, um, little off cuts of brick in there, that's handy. You can also use it to stand on for doing boiler flues little sealed tub of sand and cement and then I've got this um, I guess it's a Stanley a tough Stanley box but it's a Valent branded one and then I just keep in there any um, random kit like my big big crescents are in there um, any spare hammers I've got lung panel um, s-wing bar just um, stuff I don't use that often immersion spanner Stilson's just goes in there I'll just clear out the floor space here and then I'll show you what's underneath okay now that's cleared out you can see at the bottom here um, there was a front bar on this I cut that out so I can slide these tubs underneath so I've got spares for toilets basically siphons valves and then some dust sheets in that one they slot neatly under there and then the same under this raised platform in the middle I've got my core drill um, drill bag there all my drill accessories nicely stored out of the way and a couple more of these tubs this one's called stuff it's just got spares and um, gas bottles hoses hemp extra wire wool um, plumbers mate 
stuff that I, like that is in there. And then another. This is parts for basins and sinks. You can just see there the cutout for the um, the pipe offcuts bits that runs all the way underneath there. So I can get to them if there's any small bits that I can't reach from the front. Uh, step ladders in there. There's the, um, the hatch for the bulkhead so you can run the pipe straight through. Okay, that's the van tour done. If you're anything like me, you love looking at other people's kits and how other people keep their kit in their vans. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're thinking of getting your own van or thinking of racking a van out and you just wanted some ideas, I hope this has been useful. Um, if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll answer it best I can. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Give it a like. That'd really help me out. But yeah, thanks for watching.